Hi, in this video uh, we're going to see how to present uh, the values that we collected in the previous video uh, in our database uh, into uh, the user interface uh, for, for our users. So for that reason, uh, what I did is I added a screen. So all the data collection happens in screen one. In other words, the form for inserting the data is in screen one and the screen for viewing the data is going to be in the screen uh, view data and what i did is i added the tiny db component and that is where our values uh, uh, the, the user inserted values are gonna still be there and then uh, what i did in the ui i had a table arrangement with uh, two by four columns initially and then I have eight labels so the first one label one is to actually label this column which is going to be the login uh, that I collected from the previous form and the label two is the label for the second column it's going to be the names that I collected uh, from the previous form I also change the uh, that into uh, bold font and, and the size to 18. Now what I also did in the rest of the cells of the table I added uh, six labels to present the first three values uh, from the database. Uh, now I'm gonna first uh, delete the text that appears on the labels so that they appear as empty. And then I'm going to show you uh, one way to present uh, the data uh, in this uh, user uh, interface. So we're going to go on the blocks and already uh, have taken out the uh, event uh, when screen view data, when the screen actually is going to initialize. Uh, what we're going to do is a, a very simple thing. We're going to set uh, the text of the label so the first uh, label if you remember is label 3 so label 1 and 2 are used for the labels of the columns so label 3 is going to be the first uh, label to use in order to uh, display the login uh, from uh, the user so I need to change that from height to text and then I need to call uh, my database get value so what I would like to do is to get the value the first value from my database now as you remember I used uh, the tags for tags I used a number which is going to just keep on increasing for the users uh, that I have and uh, as uh, you remember I the value uh, is actually a uh, list so for that reason I need to what uh, the get value uh, procedure is actually gonna return is uh, a list since the value that I inserted uh, in the previous uh, form uh, is a list. So in order to display the login of the user I need to get the first item uh, from the list. Well since I already have some data I can bring up uh, the emulator and in order to initialize the screen in the emulator I'm gonna change from screen one to screen view data and now the emulator should refresh and 
indeed uh, this is what happens it shows me uh, the value uh, with tag one which is a list and what I did is I took the first item from that list which is the login now in order to also display the name I all I need to do is to duplicate those blocks and just change uh, to the label and now what I actually uh, want is the second item from that list from the same tag in order to refresh uh, the emulator again I'm gonna switch from screen one so as you see here the emulator is gonna change in a minute or so the emulator seems to be stuck so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna reset the connection to the emulator so the emulator restarted and as you can see this is the result uh, that I expected now uh, one thing uh, that we need to improve is to actually check uh, if uh, the value the first value truly exists and for that reason we need to add this if block right here so if actually the first tag uh, is a list so this is the block that we need to use so we need first to check whether that first tag uh, is actually a list then uh, we're going to display <coughs> then we're actually going to display uh, into those labels now in order to display uh, the second and third value I will just need to duplicate that whole block and change accordingly the tag from 1 to 2 where the second list also has the same index and I need to duplicate and of course I need to change the labels from 3 to 5 and from 4 to 6 and finally I need to check the third tag here I forgot to change this tag as well and finally insert the results to labels 7 and 8 so in order to refresh the emulator I'm gonna switch to screen 1 and then switch back to my second screen which is the screen view data and as you can see this is exactly the result that I expected since I only have uh, two values uh, I only see uh, the values in labels uh, 3 and 4 and 5 and 6 and there is actually nothing in labels uh, 7 and 8